Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to try the FOV and compa compare it with the Pimax Crystal and I'll compare it with the 8KX. So yeah, a lot of uh, you wrote me comments and I'm very happy about it and so yeah. I'm also very curious <coughs> about the FOV. So let's start. I hope you can see this on the screen. So, um, okay, this is okay. So, mm, I noticed something funny. So, the with 84 degrees or 86 degrees the upper point is outside of the FOV but the uh, other point so um, which is um, on the on the bottom it is still visible so I will try it again so still visible still visible and now with 104 degrees it's gone so like okay this is it is quite good but it looks like it isn't calibrated so I don't know, it's a, a hard to say. So, okay. And now for the horizontal. close okay it is like 102 to 104 so I would say it's 102 so to be fair um, okay this is actually funny that the uh, vertical FOV, but yeah, maybe I should um, add both values. So the 84 degrees and 104 and then uh, divide it by two. So, but the FOV, it is fine. So um, I'm also going to um, do this reading test so yeah I can read the ninth or even the 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 tenth row a friend of mine told me if you um, hit up the pixel density then you can even read more so let's try that yeah now I can read also the row number 11 so uh, but not because um, the the, the um, resolution is bad uh, it is like it is super small so um, it's definitely uh, it's not the, the, the resolution so <laughs> it's my eyesight I guess. wow this is like really really impressive um, left trigger okay Oh, the local dimming is 
working really great so i don't see any like maybe if i if i mm, too picky then yeah okay there's a little bit of blooming but it, it is fantastic so um and there are uh, there is no glare or or so to say god rays or or like lens flare or something so yeah this is um uh, really nice so i i hope the uh, the music or this um audio is not too loud and <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of the tool song uh it's called mantra i guess so <laughs> you should definitely listen to it Okay, I will try the 8KX now, so see you in a bit. So, back again now with my 8KX and yeah i notice immediately the lower resolution so this is first thing um that when i put the headset on okay this is like the usual stuff with uh, you you don't have this like super sharp 4k image and yeah, so if you're um, able to switch between headsets, then you really notice the difference. But okay, I will try the FOV test now. Okay. This looks better this time. So the upper point is nearly gone now it's gone with 90 uh, degrees and the uh, lower point is still visible and now it's gone so um first when i uh, used the crystal um there was the this funny thing that uh, the upper point went away like with 84 degrees and if you add both values and divide it by two then you are also are at 94 so i would say the 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 index oh sorry that was a total miss <laughs> the crystal is similar to the 8kx in terms of the whoops so i don't know okay um uh, it's it's the same in terms of vertical fov so now let's try the horizontal fov um my ipd is 60 so it's kind of small but honestly i don't have uh, any issues with this in the even when the IPD is not set 100% right, then it's it doesn't uh, felt wrong. So okay, 132, 34, 36, getting close, and 140. The yeah. 138 uh, to 100 if you could um, use like 139 then it would be uh, 139 so yeah also uh, it is very impressive so um, okay that is a lot more so um, I, I set the uh, FOV large um, in, in the Pimax experience or yeah, uh, in the Pi, Pimax play. 
And the funny thing is, um, today it is like really, really warm here in my in my office or in my yeah, call it office. <laughs> um, and one thing um, that didn't happen with the with the crystal was that it uh, the lenses were like uh, fogging. So. Um, now with the 8KX, I have um, definitely the, the problem that um, because of the heat, I'm sweating and um, now I have to take off the HMD and and wipe it clean because, um, um, yeah, I can't see much now. So just give me a second. Um, I think the, uh, uh, the glass lenses are way better in terms of um, uh, heat resistance. So yeah so okay back again So with the crystal, I was able to read the the tenth or eleventh row. Um, now I have to. It is like number eight or, or the eighth row. Yeah, this is um, where it's getting blurry. So. Okay, yeah, that's that's also um, it is good, but compared to the crystal, it's not that good. Yeah, okay, <laughs> funny. This is like um, uh, it is not index clear, but um you can definitely see the difference and yeah also that it doesn't feel like um uh, let me explain it with the crystal it doesn't hurt my eyes so now i get the feeling that it is too bright or or i don't know um it's not good to look at and with the crystal um, it was way better so yeah conclusion um, some of us uh, some of you told me or asked me um, if I prefer the, the FOV or is the smaller FOV of the crystal a deal breaker um, trust me I was uh, one of the hardcore you need FOV on uh, the largest FOV you can possibly get and um, but now with um, the, the AB comparison between both uh, HMDs I would definitely prefer the crystal because the, the FOV it isn't that small so in terms of um, it is okay. So I played a lot of uh, PSVR2 and the difference between an 8KX and a an PSVR2 is, is huge. So um, like in Pimax terms, like this big. <laughs> um, yeah, so it is definitely not a deal breaker. Uh, many, uh, uh, some 8KX users um, said they wouldn't even want to try out the crystal because the FOV is so small and they stay with the 8KX. I can recommend to try out the crystal because it is, yeah, I know it's a, a stupid word, but it is a game changer. So um, now I'm very satisfying, uh, satisfied with the, with the um, FOV. And I will definitely use the crystal as daily daily HMD. So there is no there's no question. Um, yeah, I guess 
that is all from my side so i hope you enjoyed the video and i could put some light in the in the fov game so see you next time i guess yeah bye